Right. Now. These are floor plates. I'm going to be numbering them. Uh, I've got a bit of paper because what each of these floor plates, and I'll show you, does is that. Ooh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I don't think it's solid enough to stand on, but it's a start. Produces either one of those or when used to something like that or like that. And depend, and as you see, some of them. So I'm gonna stand on this one, and I'm just gonna get Alistair to stand on this one. As you can see, some of them are more solid. So what you've got to do is find the right combination. Whoops! Right combination successive combination because you've got to move people around a bit to get a solid floor enough for one character to get from this end to the other end and once they get someone gets to the other end the entire bridge goes solid so I'm going to be na labeling them in a circle clockwise from right top all the way around to left top so that's number one Number two, number three. How many? How many are there? I think it's ten. Yeah, it goes five, four, five. And if I actually get around to it, I might actually do a diagram. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So I'm going to be use my characters. For, actually, first of all, I'm going to save. So, let's save this as the evil steery bit. So, Alistair stands on there. And that produces... Actually, how many squares are there, actually? Um, two, I think there's five. So, one, two, three, four five so I have a bit of paper in front of me and what I'm going to do is right, what's that look like uh, or is it four actually let's stand on there let's get whim your wish around here Oy, come on come on come on stand that one for me no, there's only four, not five. Okay. Right, so everybody off. Okay, so number one on my diagram activates floor panel three. So what I'm going to be doing is putting, I've got a list, what I've got is got the circle and I've got four blocks running down the middle and in each block I'm going to put the number which activates them if one person is stood on it. So that one is act. So tile number three is activated by floor panel number one. So Alistair, if you please move on to floor panel number two. Th that active number two activates block two at one and two. Three activates th two and three. One, two, three, four, five. I've cocked this up already. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12! Right, okay. <laughs> God, I can't believe I cocked that up. Twice in, this, in the space of two seconds. Right, okay. So there's 12 going around the outside. Oh. Right, so, number four is, uh, number four activates panel four. Okay. Number five activates panel four uh, and panel three.
that activates. Have a good look. Uh, number two on its own. So that's what number is that? That's number six. So that's activates two on its own. Seven. Activate two on its own again. Okay. That uh, eight activates four. No, one on its own. Nine activates four on its own. Ten clears. Eleven activates. So you never want to touch ten. Uh, so just want to put. Okay. Uh, Eleven activates. One on its own, and uh, twelve activates four on its own. Just so you know, there are walkthroughs. No, that's is that four? Actually, let's have a look. No, that activates this one on its own. <laughs> right. Just so you know, there are walkthroughs. On the internet, but I'm I'm being a good girl. I'm not actually going to use that. Probably the worst decision I've made, <laughs> but we shall see. Okay, so let's use Helena there. So we need someone on number two. No, we need someone on number four. So. Alistair, if you go and stand on that one for us, okay. Win. No, nope. uh, Liliana, never mind. Um, except Alistair's not stood on number four. A task? Okay. Okay, and then. Wind needs to stand on number nine. Seven, eight, nine. That's it. That's an actual bridge piece right there. If we can get all the bridge pieces to be solid, we can make it across. Okay. I don't know, I need... I need four people. Okay. Uh, right. If I move Alistair... No. I have a funny feeling... Yes. Okay! Right, so I need Alistair to move. Right, I need. So I need Alistair. And you'd like. To move. On to number 12. This is why you don't touch 10, because it. kills it. So, Alistair on to number 12. Okay! Right. So now uh, I need so Liliana can stay on number five, and I need. Why don't we just get one person across and go from ah! there? Balls. Okay. Right.
Okay, right. Okay, uh, let's load. Okay, let's start that again. So, move, let's just write this down as we go. Move one. See, this is how, this is proving I'm not, I'm doing it. Move two. Move three, right, so I need to get, so move one was four, five, and nine. So, uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, Okay, Liliana, I need you on. F I need you on five. Okay. Okay, so. Let's. Save. Because that one's correct. Okay, so the next one we need is five, nine, and twelve. So, let's get Alistair to move to twelve. Okay, we need Alistair and Liliana now to stay where they are. I think. So, let's save that again. Okay, I'm gonna just move win. Okay, so that's correct. So we need win now to move to three. Okay, so that now keeps three active. So, now that's three, five, and twelve. No, 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 that's, sorry. Because we haven't got this move locked in yet. Okay. Because you've got to be careful. Then, we need two, six, or seven. Now, I think we need two. So we don't need five anymore. So let's move Liliana off there and move that and move him, her, to two. Okay. Uh, actually, is that right? Let's try moving her to six. <laughs> or to seven. Right, so it's three, seven, and twelve. Okay, right. So, 3, 7, and 12 gives us a solid bridge on 3. So, ah, no, we need someone on 2. Yeah, we need someone on, t on 2. So, let's move Alistair on to 2. Yep. Oh, yeah, let's 
move Alice down to two. Oh, let's save it first. Okay, so now we need. Let's try moving. Let's have a look. Wim onto. Right. Let's try moving Win onto 8. we're done. So, move four. Was that move five? Ah, oh, I've lost count. <laughs> I'll go through later and sort it out for you. There we go. Can we do it again? Let's not. Yay! Phew! Did that. Well, and I, like I said, I did that with just a bit of paper and working it out. I didn't use a cheat uh, thing to do it. I just, you know, figured it out. Okay. <laughs> ah, this is always a good one. As you wish. You can make. Huh. Okay. <sighs> Cast off the trappings of the world and bathe yourselves in this. Yay! You have been through the trials of the gauntlet. You have walked the path of Andraste. And like her, you have been cleansed. You have proven yourself worthy, Pilgrim. Approach. The sacred ashes. Oops, right, let's move. Okay. Unfortunate. I never dreamed I would ever lay my eyes on the urn of sacred ashes. I... I, I... I have no words to express. I didn't think anyone could succeed in finding Andraste's final resting place. But here... here she is. I could not have asked for a greater honor than to be here. I will never forget this feeling. Okay. So that is, we've done it, we found the urn of sacred ashes. Um, now, there were two ways to have done that, you could have, ooh, uh, did what I did, and, uh, told the cultists they were completely balmy, at which point you did it as I've done here, or uh, you could ha uh, alternatively you could have told the cultists they uh, that you were willing to work with them and then double cross them higher up the mountain or uh, double cross them after this what they would have asked you to do is, def like I said, defile the ashes with a pinch of, uh, with drag uh, dragon's blood. At which point, if you have Iliana and win in the party, they will be incensed and attack you. 
if you defile the uh, the the blood, uh, the ashes. You can of course take a pinch of ashes to cure uh, our Eamon and then um, defile it. So you can't. So it's not one or the other when it comes to. You don't have to not cure our Eamon by doing that. Um, if you don't have them in your party, when the, the next time you go back to camp, they will have heard of what's happened, been incensed, and I either attack you or just leave. Um, I think if you harden Iliana, you can actually prevent that from happening. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, that's uh, the different options. Um, if you do that, you unlock the... if you do um, defile the ashes, you unlock the Reaver special ability for warriors. But I think I have that unlocked already through a different walkthrough or some other thing so I literally have very little uh, <laughs> uh, inclination to do that um, so yeah that's the end of the quest of the secret ashes from a having to find stuff thing now we just have to get back to uh, Redcliffe and um, cure our Eamon which I will do in the next video, uh, I'm going to leave this here. That's quite a successful uh, adventure period. So, ta-ta for now. See you soon.